Hey friends and welcome to my channel. Today I decided to film a review slash haul of the Sarah's Day Activewear Collection with White Fox Boutique. It only launched about two days ago and today I received all my items. So I'm actually shocked at how quickly everything came. I wasn't expecting it. This is my first video so apologies in advance if things aren't quite right, if the sound's a bit off or if you can hear some background noise. I am trying to perfect my setup at the moment. Hopefully this goes well. I have bought some of Sarah's Day collection previously. I have um, three other pants. When I saw that she had the Dalmatian collection, I honestly really fell in love with it. I didn't get it the first time around though because when I was thinking of maybe getting it, I heard that the queue was really bad and heaps of people were having trouble getting on. So I just thought, you know what, I'll just wait for the restock. I believe it's been months since they actually released it the first time. The first time when I actually got like some of the original set, I actually didn't wait in queue for this. So this was sheer luck that I actually got this. I jumped on just after work one day. There was a couple sizes left in my size and so I just decided to get what I could get, but I didn't deal with the queue. This time, however, I did experience the queue. So basically I'm gonna go through the whole process of getting the collection and then the packaging and delivery and all that stuff before I jump into what I actually got and like the details of everything. So if you just interested in the actual products yourself, skip to this time here and that'll go right into everything for you. So the queue was terrible. Now I understand that Sarah doesn't have like any say in this and it's just what the company has decided to do but it was so hard to get on. I guess my only thought about this is Kylie Cosmetics is this big million dollar company that has millions and millions and millions of people trying to get on her website at once when she, when she releases holiday collections or just new products in general, she gets heaps of traction. I used to be a first time shopper of Kylie Cosmetics and back when everything would sell out in within a few minutes and you have to be there on the site on time. If they can figure out how to do a good queue system for millions and millions of people, I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard for White Fox to think of something. The only reason I say this is because I did see a lot of people in the Sezzy Squad's Facebook group saying that they just gave up because they just couldn't be bothered with the queue and I honestly don't blame them. I just happened to have an office job, so I didn't really have anything better to do than just sort of sit there with my phone on my desk, waiting patiently to get in. It took me an hour and a half to get in. And when it finally said that it was my turn, it took about 20 minutes to get in again. So basically what I did is I jumped onto Instagram, went to the White Fox Active page, and I DM'd them and said, it's been saying it's my cube, for this amount of time, can you help me get in? They asked for a screenshot, I sent it through, and within a second, I was in the website. I saw other people also said that they did something very similar, so if next time you decide that you do want to brace the queue, and if you start having troubles and can't get in, if you contact their customer service, their customer service was phenomenal and helped me so quickly and with no questions asked. Honestly, when I sent them the DM, I didn't expect to get any response at all, but I did and I got in and I'm pretty grateful for that. In total, I got onto the website at 11 a.m. on the dot, got in the queue and it wasn't until a quarter to one that I actually got into the website. Now when I was in the website and actually started purchasing my items, I had a huge, huge shopping cart. I tried to pay for it four times. Four times I tried to put my payment details in, it would say it was loading, it would say redirecting to the website, went back to the website, and then my cart was there and I didn't buy anything. On the fourth attempt, by some sheer luck, I happened to actually purchase all of my items. It shipped that same day, and then by today, which is Thursday, it arrived in the post office ready to be collected. So I guess the first thing that I'll touch on is each of the items actually came in a Ziploc bag which I thought was pretty cool, like it's expensive stuff and so, you know, this is really nice to have. However, every single item coming in a separate plastic bag, it's not really my thing. I think it's a bit unnecessary. 
we should really be trying to eliminate plastic as much as possible in like this day and age. So having everything in this was probably a bit overkill, but at the same time, I do understand why they did it. It is very, in my opinion, it's quite high quality and you wanna keep that protected as much as possible. The other thing to note with the packaging as well is it all comes in this white fox drawstring bag. Again, all in this and then all of that is in this one bag. So I feel like it all just being in this bag is probably enough, but I do get it is coming from a warehouse. With a lot of the items as well, it also comes with this here. This is pretty much just a tag saying that the items are delicate and to handle with care, which I thought was pretty neat. It only came with specific items as well. Now to go through all of the items. In total, I actually spent, I think it's somewhere around $900 on everything. The correct amount will be right here. But each item was relatively pretty expensive itself, ranging from $70 to $90. And then I bought lots of them. So without further ado, let's go through with it. All the prices for all the items are gonna be in the bottom corner as I'm also going through them. So if you're interested in getting some stuff yourself and it's still available on the website, then that way you have a bit of an idea of how much everything costs. The first lot of items I'm gonna go through is the Drop It Like It's Crotch Pants. Now I did get every single color available because you can never have too many trackies in my opinion. So the first one we have here is the white and strap Drop It Like It's Crotch. What I love about these is they do have pockets, which I think is a necessity. They have a drawstring as well, just a stretchy waistband. And then they sort of like baggy at the top and then they like sort of tighten up a little bit at the bottom. I have them in the size extra large. Same again here, I have the olive with white stripe. Drop it like it's crotch pants. Again, same thing, drawstring pockets. Same size in the extra large. And the material of these is quite soft, thin, but soft, which is quite nice. The next ones I have here are the black dropper it like it's crotch. These ones are only in a size large, which is more true to size, but they didn't have any extra large left by the time I got through to the queue. The black ones also seem to be a bit more of a thinner material to the striped ones, which I'm a bit confused by but they still feel good, they're still soft, but they just feel a little bit thinner. I'm not too sure what it is, but the black ones feel thinner than the others. Then the next one here is the white pair. The difference with these is on the website, I thought these were more of a pure white. So I was actually quite hesitant thinking about picking these up to begin with because white pants can be quite hit or miss with them. You can dirty them up really quickly, etc. So these are more of like a grey mull colour as you can see up close, which I actually prefer. I feel like it's less likely to get dirty now. The next set of items I'm going to go through is the Sporty Spice Pair. So the first thing I'll go through is the hoodie. So I picked up the Sporty Spice hoodie. It's this one here, which I think is quite nice. It's just got the SDXWFA across of it with the nice peach stripe and white stripe. So I think the first thing you'll notice about this is the outside material is the exact same as the inside material. So it's not one of those hoodies where it's like fluffy on the inside, it's just the exact same material. It is somewhat thin, but at the same time it feels thick. It's not really that stretchy. It seems like a good gym jumper. It doesn't have the fur on the inside, so you're not gonna sweat unnecessarily. I got this one in a size extra large for reference. The next thing is the matching sporty spice leggings. I got these in a large. I really hope they fit because they're quite tight. I do have an extra large in my older collection, but I decided to go with the large because I'm in the process of losing weight at the moment. The extra large seems to be a little bit too big. They tend to just fall down on their own. So I just thought maybe if I got the small size it might fit better. I guess the one thing I guess I really wanted to address with these, so they do feel quite nice. And what I do like about these is the drawstrings feel a bit more primo than the older collection. The older collection drawstring, if you can see the difference, the older collection drawstring is like little um, aglet, I think it's called, just like a shoelace. And then this one is a bit more primo. But the one thing that I do want to talk about is this writing the 
Sarah's Day Times White Fox Active. This material in the writing is like a rubber material. I didn't know that and I didn't expect that when it arrived. So I was a bit shocked when it came. Still love it just the same. I think it looks really nice. But keep in mind, it is like a rubber. So it sort of like catches on your skin a little bit. That is the Sporty Spice Leggings. The next set I got, which I think is my personal favorite, is the Sweet and Sassy set. The first thing I'll talk about is the All I Do Is Brunch sweater. I've sort of classed it as a sweet and sassy set because it's got that same pattern, but it is the All I Do Is Brunch. I got this in a large because I heard it was pretty oversized, which I think's quite accurate. Um, normally I like my hoodies a bit bigger than me. I like them to be quite baggy, which is why I got the other one in an extra large. But as I said, I heard this one is quite oversized as it is. So I just got it. I'm actually quite happy I got this because I believe it's one of the first things that I actually sold out. And a lot of people saying that's all they went on for. So I'm really, I feel quite lucky that I was managed to snag this one. And then of course I got the sweet and sassy leggings. So they've got the Dalmatian print at the bottom with the peach and the black stripe. Again, something that I didn't know beforehand is this fabric here is like a rubber material. Um, I'm not too sure what you'd really call it, but just keep that in mind. I don't think it has any impact on the actual fit because when I put my hand up there, it just sort of doesn't feel tight or anything. When I first saw it, I got to admit, I thought maybe it was like gonna be a bit restrictive, but it is actually quite stretchy. But again, it's not something I realized. I personally would prefer if the um, riding and the stripes were in just a normal fabric and sort of mesh well. I do love these just as much. Again, with these pair, they just have that drawstring and are just like black all the, around, all the way around. And I got these in a large. The next set I got is the 101 Day Dreamers in white. So the first thing I'll show you is the white Dalmatian print. I just think these are so cute. They have a drawstring on the front and on the back they have SD times WFA. This is a really nice thin stretchy material as well. I can vouch that I love this fabric because it's the same as her other ones. Again, the stripes on the bottom that are in peach and pink are that rubber fabric again. I'm hoping these are squat proof by the looks of it and what I've heard, I believe they are, but I personally will probably stick to a nude underwear just to be safe. I'm also not someone who goes without underwear. And then to go with that, I did pick up the matching sports bra to go with it. So it's got the peach lining at the top and then at the bottom, it's got it in baby pink. And then they do have cups in the boobs. I'm probably someone to tend to take those out. I don't love that extra push up, but if you're someone who wants that bit of push up, it does have padding in the boobs that is removable. There's just a little section in the back and then you can just pull it out like so. So the next item I got is the 101 Day Dreamers in the black with white spots. So these are exactly the same as this version, but just reversed colors. So again, they have the drawstring at the front here. On the back they have the SDWFA in white writing. Hopefully you can see that. And then again it comes down and it has the peach and pink stripes. And then I got the matching sports bra again. Same as the white, it has the peach at the top, pink at the bottom. And then again it has padding that you can remove from the bra if you wish. The next item I got is from the original collection. It is the Vinyasa Flow Leggings in Moroccan. I do have these currently in the pink version and I love those. They are honestly the best leggings I have ever worn in my life. I've only worn them twice because I was so afraid to ruin them because I love them so much. So I just had to pick up this pair so that I could honestly wear them a lot more. So this pair is in a green pattern and then at the bottom, it sort of has this detailing down here. And I love that it has the hint of the, um, I wanna say purple, but it could be dark blue to some, could be purple to others. It's purple to me personally, but I love that. It has the drawstring at the front there. And then the thing with these ones is they also have a really tight string that goes around the top. So if you're curvy like myself, 
it can be heck to try and pull it up over your butt and your hips but I promise you once you jump that hurdle and you get that up there it is the comfiest thing ever I can guarantee you I will limit how much I go to the bathroom when I'm wearing these but I love them once they're on they are the comfiest things ever I promise last but not least I also did pick up the princess pouch in the Dalmatian print it's like this and then on the back it has the SD times WFA at the bottom here. The one thing I'll say about this is I was expecting this to be a different sort of material. I was thinking it'd be more like a faux leather that you could wipe just because it was $45. But it's actually like a canvas fabric, which I just didn't expect. It has this zipper up here. On the inside, it has a internal zipper there. And then it has pouches here. The inside is quite nice and um, I'm quite happy with this purchase. But I think $45 is possibly a little bit too steep for it. Again, because I thought it would be more of like a faux leather, not a canvas material. But I still think I'll get really good use out of this. I almost forgot with every purchase also you get this white Fox Boutique little pamphlet thing. Inside you get a sneaky little discount as well as some photos and about the shoot. Overall, I'm super happy with all my purchases. I can't wait to hit the gym and use them. The price point is definitely on the higher side. So I guess unless you're really willing to pay that amount, I think if you have the money and you're willing to pay for it, definitely worth it. I think it's really great line of activewear. They're really cute, they feel great, but it is quite steep so just be mindful of that i don't think it's a necessity i don't think it's something that you need to have only something that you can have if you can afford it congratulations to sarah for putting together this line i think she's done an excellent job the prints the fabrics just everything together it just all came together really well and i'm just so happy to get into this and to start using this at the gym and in my everyday life i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you for bearing with me with my first video ever. I have some more content coming down the line and I hope you stick around to find out what it is. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.